This bid is for a 2005 Airstream Classic 28 foot. He's going to walk around the outside. Just want to show uh, there's, a, there's a small rock ding here. There's one there, another one here. There's four little rock dings on the rock, rock guard. I don't even know if you can see them. Uh, on the front, in the right light, you can see there's one or two uh, hail dings on the unit. I cannot see them right now. There's no uh, dents, no dings on the sides. You get to the back. I think you can see these. There's a little, there's a, about, probably about eight uh, spots where there's hail damage on this upper this one panel here and then there's uh, one or two spots on the back again if you turn in the other light you can't see it they're gone you know but uh, I didn't that's not, maybe not necessarily gone this one's a little deeper all the rest are pretty much you can't tell go on the back here uh, there's no corrosion on the lights a lot of airstreams do get corrosion on the back lights I don't see any on this It's got this chrome strip, you know, the chrome's kind of gone off. I think they power wash that off. That's, you know, part of the age. You walk on the inside, the carpets are in great condition. There's no stains, there's no, you know, burn holes. There's definitely a non smoker. The couch is in great shape. This is the pop out dinette. It's got a fantastic fan up top. Hardwood uh, um, cabinetry all throughout. It's got solid surface countertop, three burner cooktop stove. Does have an oven uh, with a microwave. You know, a lot of units don't have the microwave. This one does. It's got a nice little pull-out drawer, uh, like a pantry almost. Besides that, another little more pull-out drawers for spices maybe or whatnot. This is a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Again, it's got uh, um, hardwood cabinetry all throughout. Airstream is kind of unique that uh, everything's built in the shop. I know there's other companies that build uh, their cabinetry in the shop. But Airstream, as far as I know, is the only one that uses part numbers for all their uh, products that they do use. Coming to the back here, it does have two pocket doors uh, to close off the rear uh, bathroom. So, uh, you know, they close about like that. If we can get a better fit, we'll try to figure something out. Maybe put a little snap from one side to the other on the, on the back side of this. Um, does have a couple little dings on the door. Nothing major. Again, it's just use. Um, we do just want to point those things out so nobody gets surprised or upset or either way. Coming to the back here, uh, there is a his and hers closet. Cedar lined. One's bigger than the other, so you'll have to figure out who's the his and who's the hers. So, uh, little drawers underneath. It's kind of nice. Everywhere around here, you see just different spots for uh, putting different items. The second pocket door is a single door. That one just closes off. I don't know if there's uh, again there's this little gap on the top. I don't know if you can we maybe can do some kind of adjustment on that. Got a nice size shower in here. Second fantastic fan in the rear. Again, it has skylights, front and rear. Corian tops back here in the bathroom. Come to the bedroom, there's another small closet here. Place to put a little nightstand there. Um, Another place to put a TV back here. Fantastic fan does have a control for it. This thermostat controlled. Also has a rain sensor on it. That's nice. Again, nice phalluses. Uh, good look to it. You know, all the way around. This is a very nice camper. So, you know, the things that I pointed out, I think, are just normal wear and tear from use. 
you know, is there a better camper out there in the world? Possibly. Um, you know, but the things that are there are kind of normal. I mean, a little bit of hail damage uh, isn't the end of the world. It is there, but I just want to make sure everybody saw that so that we don't have any questions about it. You go through the camper, it's very nice. Uh, stainless steel refrigerator. It does have a uh, little cracked piece here. We need to get that replaced. It's the same as up top. So we just have to have that replaced. No big deal. That happens. You get customers in here and everybody wants to just tug on these things until they snap. So um, we see that quite often on this type of uh, refrigerator. So. But if you have any questions at all, please give me a call. My phone number is 888-310-7744. My name is Mike Simpkins. My email is mike at gtwrv.com. Our website is www.gtwrv.com. Give us a call.